Were you a victim of contractor fraud? If so, have you seen justice yet? Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. And I'm Jillian Corder. A lot of times these types of stories fade from the headlines after time goes by. Teresa Schmidt looks at one such case where the suspect was caught and then let go. As Hurricane Laura slammed the area in August 2020, storm survivors have complained of contractors who stole their money or didn't do what they were hired to do. Victims were anxious to get law enforcement involved and applauded a contractor task force. But what has been the outcome of charges and restitution for those unfairly deprived of repairs and money? One such contractor is Thomas Earl McClendon, a roofer who at last word was charged with several counts of contractor fraud in Calcasieu Parish. Nearly a year ago, he was pulled over in Comanche County, Texas on a traffic stop. Officers there found Calcasieu had put a hold or detainer on McClendon for contractor fraud. So McClendon sat in the jail there for a week in September 2022. The sheriff in Texas says they let him go after getting a teletype message that the Calcasieu District Attorney's Office advised warrants were still active, but that they would not extradite McClendon at that time and to please remove the hold on him. We reached out to the DA's office to ask why he was released. They call McClendon a fugitive, but say they are, quote, looking at the case deeper and do not have all the information to be able to do an interview for today. At last word, McClendon was doing contractor work in Texas. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. A citizen concerned McClendon has yet to answer for his alleged crimes says a Calcasieu official said the hold was lifted because they did not want to pay the cost to extradite him from Texas. We hope to get a response from the DA's office tomorrow.